Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can enhance the look and user experience of your store by enhancing the product filter and the product searching functionality on your website. So this is going to be really important because it has a huge impact on conversion rate. According to eConsultancy, website visitors that are performing searches on your website are going to be converting at a rate almost two times as high as the average website visitor therefore spending time maximizing the efficiency of this part of your store is going to yield huge dividends moving forward for your profitability so with that said let's go ahead and jump right into it so to do this we're going to be using an app called product filter and search which you can go ahead and get to by clicking the very first link in the description so before we actually get started with setting this up we're going to go ahead and take a look at what it would actually look like once you set it up on your store so if i come over here to a demo right here of the product filter and search app we can see that this is what the app would actually look like in action on our store if we were searching for a particular product so so this is a product collection right here so this is going to be what search results would look like and we can see here over here on the left we can see all of these different search options that are showing up through the product filter and search app so we can see here that we can choose different collections here so we can go ahead and choose between different options you can also filter by multiple levels within collections here so if you open up tops we can see that there's different levels inside of the tops so these smaller collections inside of the overall tops collection you can go ahead and filter by this as well so you can have multi-level collection filtering we can go ahead and filter by brands as well so we can go ahead and choose which brands we want to go ahead and see showing up over here we can go ahead and filter by different colors we can actually see the little color swatches here that are showing up as well which is a pretty cool visual feature and we can sort by size as well as sorting by price you can also filter by things like shape and filter by the ratings of the product as well as well as the percent sale and you can filter by stock status and alongside that as well you can also create custom range sliders like the price one right here for any numeric values such as width or height so any type of customization you want to do there you can go ahead and create and a couple things that aren't seen here that you can also do is you can filter by tags and filter by meta fields as well so this just gives you more options for customization of your product filtering process so you'll notice if you've ever actually done any online shopping on some of the bigger e-commerce retailers you're going to notice that many stores do have a system like this where you can go ahead and search through different products and collections and sort them all out by all of these different options here so this is something that pretty much every store needs to have especially if you have a very large catalog because this is just going to make the search and filtering process for the customer 100 times easier and the easier it is for the customer to find what they're looking for the more likely they are to go ahead and buy so there's a few customization options that we can actually do as well so we can see that this is the vertical layout so if i come over here and switch to the horizontal layout we can see that now that what it will go ahead and do is it would go ahead and put all of the different sorting options here on the top of our products instead of before they were on the left now we can go ahead and click on these different options here and sort by these different options by clicking on them right here and clicking apply. There's also some other layouts that you can go ahead and use up here. So if we scroll over other, we can see there's other options right here. We can take a look at the off canvas one to see what this one looks like and we can see that this particular layout actually puts the filtering options completely off the canvas so if i go ahead and click on filter here we can just see that all of the filtering options now show up on the left side of the screen here in this scroll wheel so which one you select is just going to depend on personal preference and which one you think actually looks the best in your store and if we were to go ahead and compare the custom filter that we just went through right here with the default filter here that comes with any shopify theme we can see that the shopify theme filter is definitely 
relatively basic when compared with the product filter that comes with product search and filter right here. So it's definitely a large boost when compared side by side. And then the other thing as well is the actual search bar itself. So we can see here that this is not the standard Shopify search bar here. So if I were to come over here to a demo store really quick and I were to click on the search bar, we can see this is going to be the default search bar here. And if I just went ahead and typed in something, we can see that it's just going to show couple of products this is the default search bar but if we come over here we can see without typing anything in we can see that the smart search is already showing us a lot of the popular searches here for the particular store and it's showing us trending products as well so it's showing us stuff before we even go ahead and type anything in and then if i were to go ahead and start typing something in we can see here that it's going to give us suggestions based on what we're typing and it's going to go ahead and show us different products that meet our search right here as well as being able to view all of them if we choose and if we go ahead and do that we can see that we're going to be brought back to the same options as before where we can further filter our options using these specific categories here on the left so we can see right here that the menu is laid out like this by default, but there is a couple different layouts we can use. So if we go over here, we can do the standard one column. And then if I click on this menu here, we can see that this is what the actual menu will look like now. And then if I click on it up here, we can see that now it just switches it to a vertical one column with the searches here and the products down here. And if I were to click on full width here, we can see if I were to go ahead and click on the menu now, we can see that this just turns the menu into a full width option here. So which options you choose is going to depend on which visual option you think fits with your store the most. So there's a lot of different customization that you can go ahead and use with this app. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually walk through how you can actually set this up very quickly on your own store. So once you go ahead and install the app here, you're going to be brought to this page right here. So this is where we can go ahead and first select our layout. So this is what we already took a look at a couple minutes ago, where we can choose between whether we want the vertical layout or the horizontal. So we can choose whether we want our category options here on the left, or do we want our category options here on the top? So in this case, I'm going to select the vertical layout. All right. So once that goes ahead and installs, which will take a couple of minutes here, we'll see that it says setup complete. And what it actually does is it goes ahead and creates the filter on a duplicated theme just as a precautionary measure in case you want to go back to your old theme. So if I go ahead and click here on preview here, we can go ahead and take a look at what the actual filter looks like. So we can see here, this is what the filter looks like now. We went ahead and put it on the left side. So we can see here we have these different options right here. And just for comparison, this is what the products page looked like before where there was a couple filters here but that's it so we can see that this already looks a lot better and if we go ahead and compare the search we can go ahead and see that as soon as i try and search and i type in c right here we can see that it's going ahead and suggesting different products here that start with C, so the candy corn and the candy cane, as well as it's suggesting different collections, and it's also suggesting a page here that we have on our store that starts with C, and then we can see it's also recommending us a bunch of different products here, and that's all just from typing in the letter C, and if we compare that to the default search here, if I go ahead and type in C, we can see that the functionality here has given us a few recommendations but it's a lot more basic than what you get with product filter and search so we can see that all of this stuff is set up and running just in a couple of clicks so if we come back over here we can go ahead and verify the setup so we can go ahead and say that it works so i'm going to go ahead and click on next and now i'm going to go ahead and go and click on take me to the home page so now we're on the actual home page here for the app and this is where you can go ahead and edit different things so the first thing i do want to show you how to do is if you want to go ahead and publish this live what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just make sure that the new duplicated theme with the filter on it is published live 
So in order to go ahead and change your theme, you can go ahead and come over here to online store. I'm going to just open this in a new tab really quick. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the themes here. And we can see that the theme that was just created here. So we can see that the live theme here is taste, but we can see that we have the theme library. So we can see here, this is the live theme with filter and search. So this is our same theme, but just with the filter and search. So it's the preview that we went ahead and set up. So whenever you wanna go ahead and actually publish this theme to have the new filter and search go live, you would just go ahead and go to actions here and click on publish. And you can go ahead and click on publish right here and then we can see the theme is published so now if I go ahead and view this on the store and we go to the catalog we can see that this is now live and if I open up the menu here and I type in some search queries again we can see that the new search functionality is now pushed live to our actual store so jumping back in here to the filter and search app really quick, we can go ahead and edit different things if you want. So by default, just from setting up and installing the app, we can see that we already have a lot of functionality set up and a lot of improvements for the customer user experience just from installing the app right out of the box. So you don't have to do any customization if you don't want. But if you do want to set up different things, you can come in here and you can choose to edit different things in here. So first it goes ahead and suggests us to set up a filter tree. So if we go ahead and click create now here, we can see that we have the default filter tree and the search filter tree. So the filter tree is just going to be this section over here. So this is the, what's known as the tree. And then you have the options of the tree here, which is like the vendor product type and price. So this is where you can go ahead and create custom trees and edit the actual filter tree itself so if you don't want to use the default one this is where you could go ahead and add new ones or edit some of the standard ones if you come over here to search you can see all of the different options here for the actual search part of the app here and by clicking on all of these different ones you can go ahead and change the different settings like we were previewing earlier here as far as the layout settings and you can choose which display settings here you want to go ahead and showcase in here and you can go ahead and go through all of these search settings here and further customize the app to your liking you can also go in here to merchandising where you can take a look and control different things such as product ranking so if you want to push certain products harder than others you can go ahead and edit that within here as well and then you can also take a look at your analytics so you can see all the different metrics generated by the app such as filter clicks and sales so this is just a cool thing that you can go ahead and check on so you can see how well your boosted search and product filter functionality is actually performing so this is a really great app to go ahead and add to your store because as you can see it adds a lot of additional functionality to your search and product filtering process which is going to really improve the customer user experience when they're looking and browsing for products in your store and all of this happens in just a few clicks and it's automatically set up on your store so with that said be sure to check out the product filter in search app by clicking the first link in the description down below and if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another.